Popped over to Chamonix and met up with Sasha Ham. Hello, Bran. Hello. Welcome to Chamonix. Thank you. Back in the 90s, Sasha was one of the first pro snowers out of the UK. He was known for going big and scored a lot of covers. After winning the British Championships, he saw a chance to pursue his Formula One racing dreams and spent all his winnings on a racing school. After winning the graduation race, he got offered a seat in Formula Ford. After three years, he realized racing is for rich kids. He went on and got himself a real job. It took more than 10 years before he returned to the competitions. This time, it was a free world tour. Now, next in, one of the most remarkable characters on the free ride world tour, Sasha Ham. Not going to see a half-hearted run here. Sasha is going to send it top to bottom. It's yeah. podium or bust for Sasha. Very fluid. Huge drop, and he's landed that beautifully in difficult terrain. And he sent that, a massive natural rollover, and he's cutting across, riders right. And it's getting steep again. Oh. Perfect snow. Another big cliff, another one, he's got a third below him. No, he drops off the side of that. A oh, little laid back. No, no he, he had to the shut bottom. down. Whoa, that's the what we like to see. The biggest drop that we saw today. <laughs> Here's world number six. He's capable of winning events when he can stay on his feet. Inside and going even bigger than the others. Stand at Sasha Ham lines. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. There we go. And it's coming in. He's loving it. He's already got And he is! 81.75. Number one. There we go. Taking over the top spot with the last run of the day. After winning the first competition of the season, things were looking good for Sasha. This could be the year to bring home the world title. But in Austria, everything changed. The season was over, and he ended up in intensive care for three weeks. After eight operations, Two years of rehab and constant nerve pain. He still got the stoke for snowboarding and is now back on the board. Sorry, Gran, not much snow in Chamonix. I think I know a place where we can find it. Okay, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the snow? I don't know. I say let's go all the way to the top and check it out. All the way up there. The local guy's gonna show us the best run of the resort. We found these guys before us here. <laughs> oh yeah. So they got a good nose, mate. <laughs> You can smell it good snow, huh? Can you smell it, Sasha? I can smell it, yeah. <laughs> so, are we ready to get going? Yeah, ready. Sure. Whoa, where are they taking us? This is just all a sheet of ice.
It was a pleasure to meet you. No worries, no worries. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you too, man. What are you doing, bro? Hiking. They're running the lift, but they want to us on. So we have to hike and try to find the snow. Exactly. We know where the snow is. It's just a bit tricky today. So, can I sneak for the yes. two times? 70 euros. One, two, three, four. 60. Okay. 60? 60? I, I go 70 60. euro. It's a bit. No problem. <laughs> Five at the. Uh, Oh. 